Okay, we're gonna be doing a mukbang. I got these uh, like steamed dumplings from Wabao in Indianapolis. I got all of them this time, and then I got some like a, a chicken and rice bowl too. So we're gonna try everything, see if we like it basically. And I also have like a ice caramel macchiato from this morning that I didn't drink. And then Kylan also, what do you have? This is extra stuff because football. Some sort of rice pilaf with ch barbecue chicken and uh, green beans. From the bacon. facility? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Can I eat now? Yeah, I don't know what flavors are what. They weren't like labeled, um, but I just figured we would we would just try them, see mm. if they're good. You know, <laughs> yeah. hopefully they're good. Here's one for you. Here's one for you. Mm. Little paper on the bottom. Bow wow. Bow wow. <laughs> I just got bread. Oh, take a bigger bite. <laughs> Wait. This is all bread. <laughs> oh no, Sean. It actually is all bread. There's nothing in it. <laughs> you want to take a bite of mine? No. <laughs> no, you got to try the meat. There's, there's, there's actual meat in this well, one. I promise. Give me, give me one. Well, what the if last it's, one. What if it's not the same flavor? Now I'm not sure now that one was just bread. I like, I've lost did you, trust. Did you order one that was just bread? No. So I'm like, I don't know if they actually did put them together or not. All right, this okay, that stuff. one has stuff. See, that one is different than mine. Oh, I think. Same. Oh, it's not, is it? It looks kind of darker. But this is good. Mine's good. Afraid to see if they're the same. Oh, mm, give me mine same. back. Yours is better. I think yours is like maybe the hamburger one. No, not close. This is like the teriyaki chicken one, I think. Not a fan of that one. It's what? Not a fan? No. Okay. Oh. Mm. So here's another one. I hope you get one that's just bread. <laughs> I know, I'm, I think I'm gonna end up getting one that's just bread. Well, I think it's rough because it's like, it's not, there's not supposed to be that much breading, so it was like, the dough in the middle was like it was super a lot. wet. Ugh. It was like, um, yeah. It wasn't good. It wasn't cooked. Bow wow. Bow wow. Bow wow. But last time we did that, I got fucked. So. <laughs> oh my god, I'm just bread. No, it's not. But <sighs> imagine. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the same as my last one. Is that the same as your last one? Mm -mm. It looks kind of similar. It's a little spicy. Is it? Want to try it again? See? I mean, this is, the, I'm pretty sure it's the same as my last one. You can tell me. You just took a huge bite out of mine. What if I wanted it back? Well, it was falling. <laughs> I already know I, I'm not a fan of this one, though. Well, taste it to tell, make sure it's the same one. What if I'm an idiot? Yeah. You don't like that one? This one is good, though. It is spicy. Yeah, I good. Everything, it fucked me over. I know, you, you keep yeah. winning because it's making it up to you about the bread. It, right. it, you? Here. Did you, did you spy me on purpose? I did not. I would, she organized yeah, I would never these. do that to you. I, yeah, but I didn't know what was in them. There's definitely not supposed to be one that's fully bread. There's, that's, there's no way. This one definitely has stuff in it because I see it coming out of the top. This one feels light. <laughs> Feel that wow, well, it looks suspicious. <laughs> that wow. <well. laughs> This is definitely the burger one. This is good. Mm. It does taste exactly like a burger. <laughs> they can't see your little chews you're doing. He's very meticulous. Like that. This is really good. It tastes exactly like a cheeseburger. Now that was a big bite. I can't believe you gave me shit for a big bite. That was a huge bite. It's a safe space for big bites. I'm just saying. You started the hit train. You started <laughs> Johnson. Exactly how much I had. Don't. <laughs> that is such a small bite. Put it back in. Okay, it looked that a lot more vicious. That is such a small vicious. bite. Okay, fine. Put it back in your mouth, please. Oh, this is a cheeseburger one. How can you tell? You could smell it. Also, we didn't bow. We didn't bow out. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, it's a cheeseburger one, I think. 
Oh. Yeah, fucker. <laughs> it is just bread. It is just one. I don't think it actually is just bread. I think it's. Oh, I hate there's, it. There's a. It's coconut. That's I disgusting. ordered a coconut one. You're it does look exactly like it. Well, because I ordered all the flavors well, you're they eating, had. Yeah, you're eating this. Yeah, it does. Exa it does look like it's just bread, though. That's hilarious. Gross. It is coconut, though. Then why didn't that hit your brain sooner? I didn't realize it would blend in so perfectly with the bread. Take like a bite I thought it would be like no, yellow or something. Take a big bite. Take a big bite. Make sure that's coconut. It's coconut. That could have gone so bad. <laughs> wow, bow. Wow, bow. <laughs> They need some soy sauce though. They don't need it, but it would be yeah, it would add to it. Mm. Like if you could go back, uh. yeah, time machine, I guess. Mm. Would you marry off like your daughters and sons strategically, or would you let them sort of pick? The arranged marriages would secure more power because it's like not a hundred percent certain that they would pick somebody who's of comparable power and stuff. I don't know if I can make of that, you been. Aww. No, okay. um, <laughs> if I got sent back in that timeline split, i am marry him off now. Okay, would you still marry him off even if it was to someone mean, but it was like a king or something, like someone who's gonna secure great power and territory? Could I kill the king? No. Why not? These are the, these are the constraints of the question. I don't live within the constraints of questions. Okay, well, I let's pretend, let's pretend you do, <laughs> Kylan. <laughs> Let's pretend you're not such a questionnaire rebel. Well, how do I know he's mean? Everybody does. Like, like, let's say their reputation is that they're a total dick, but like, they're the most powerful man in the land. What if he's a sunder? What if he's like just really mean, but he's like, oh, you silly. But not baka. for you. <laughs> silly baka. He's silly. That actually, okay. Well, that kind of is where our story is going. She's not a silly baka. So we're gonna be talking about Queen Olympias. Do you know anything about her? Do you know who it is? Cool name. It is a badass name. Maybe we should name one of our kids that. Not cool enough, maybe for a pet. Queen Olympias is Alexander the Great's mom. Mm. And she's sort of like a tiger mom, basically. Like she's like a she's like a helicopter mom. Like you you know in sports when there's those parents who are just like really overbearing, but their kids have phenomenal performance. Like you can't deny that they got them where they needed to go, but it's like at what cost? That's Do you think true. the parents become overbearing because their kids are so naturally gifted? That's tough. Forged or found, I guess. Talent. There's both though. Alexander the Great's mom was like that. Forged. Forged. Okay, that's your answer, forged. Yeah, forged. Okay. She uh, was born into a really powerful family yeah. and her dad died when she was 15. Impressive. So she's got some, impressive. <laughs> her dad died when she was 15, yeah, so impressive. she's got some child. I don't know why I said impressive. <laughs> nice! <laughs> jealous. I'm not jealous, no. I'm just, I don't know why. Yeah, I'm not. Anyway, <laughs> okay. And so her uncle married her off um, to the king. And don't make fun of my slurp, but there's a lot of ice in there. Okay, <laughs> her uncle married her off to King Philip II, who was notably a huge dick. Oof. Which brings us to what my previous question was. He married her off because he was like, it's strategic, we gotta keep this family in power, we only marry up. And there was they were so powerful that there was really very few options upward. Mm. So it was it was basically gonna be Philip or Philip. Wow. Like there was no other choices. What a terrible problem to have. Yeah, I know. She went into it being like, fuck, I'm a teen bride, I'm his fourth wife. Mm. Yeah. So he's not gonna respect me because like nobody cares about women in this time period anyway, and I'm also like super young and I'm also like the he? fourth afterthought. He was old. So she was like expecting to be an afterthought basically. And he hadn't seen her, he just like knew this was like a politically intelligent move. And then when he saw her for the first time, she had this like beautiful red hair. He was like, wow, she's got this beautiful fiery flame hair basically and like immediately like fetishized it. But then her personality was also like super fiery. Like she had like a lot of moxie. Like she was, she was not just like taking shit and moving on. Like she was leading her life for the most part except for this marriage. And so he was immediately like, she's, she's it. She was expecting it to be like this nightmare marriage but then it ended up being like, not romantic, but like he favored her. Like she was the favorite wife. She also was a part of a cult. Mm. You're gonna like this a lot actually. So the cult. cult main symbolism, it was for it was a cult around Dionysus. So all of their symbols involved snakes. He likes to get down and party. Yeah. He's like super into the cult. I, I mean, it's not like there's very many lukewarm cult cult members, to be honest. <laughs> but like, she was so into it and she was so into the, the snake thing that she would sleep with a ton of snakes in her bed every single night. And she always had a snake on her. She always kept that thing on her. And <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> she's sleeping with a chastity belt on. Yeah, I hope so. Jeez, I I didn't want to take it there, but I'm glad you did. 
<laughs> That's like the number one thing I'm afraid of. I know. A year after her wedding, she bore a son, which mm. is how she like proved she was deserving to be queen. Because once you're like married to the king, you're kind of queen, but people don't really take you serious until you've created an heir. And this wasn't Philip's first son, obviously, since she's the fourth wife. This was mm. just a spare. Mm. Um, and she had hella beef with the pr previous wives. Don't tell Harry. Because the second, I know. This, <laughs> because the second, <laughs> a ginger spare. <laughs> <laughs> the second that she had her son and she like realized like, holy shit, I birthed a boy. She immediately started planning. She went, she went straight into helicopter mom like mm. immediately because she was like okay he's a spare he's a boy he's not directly in line for the throne mm. um but he could be on the throne one day so people are going to try and take him the fuck out mm. probably when he's young so that he never grows up to be a real contender and so she had crazy beef with all the other wives who had sons mm his entire childhood basically because they saw that she was making moves she started spreading all of these like stories basically she was one of those moms who was like you know the moms that get on twitter and they're like my son looked at me today and was like mommy you're so beautiful the depth of your soul like something that you know for a fact a four-year-old did not say my she... favorite one someone with <laughs> the kid pumping gas yeah, <laughs> yeah like, like crying the lady should never <laughs> he was crying he was <laughs> the like... lady should never pump gas mom let me do it for you and he like looks depressed um <laughs> yeah it was basically like that where she was like yeah you know alexander is so great that he is literate before all of his other siblings because they're stupid they, they i mean that might be the air but he's a fucking idiot mm. and she just started the rumor mill about how great alexander was and how terrible his siblings were basically gossip girl bc yeah gossip girl bc straight up people like saw that and they were immediately like okay like we see what's going on let's do a time jump mm. so then leaping forward to when her daughter Cleopatra, Cleopatra's her daughter, when her daughter Cleopatra was getting, I know, she's a- <laughs> Not the same she, Not the same Cleopatra, <laughs> but also, I, I just, also <laughs> a Cleopatra. I just wanted to see how you'd react. But- um, I was like, these notes can't be right. No, like, no, 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 it's also Cleopatra. She was getting married, and that's actually where Philip II got assassinated at the wedding. Very Game of Thrones. He got assassinated by one of his personal guards, stabbing mm. him under the ribcage. Yeah, it was pretty tough, pretty rough. R really sour note on the wedding, to be honest. Kind of a dick move, but everybody <laughs> Sorry, at the wedding- babe. hate to rain on your parade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so everybody at the wedding, though, immediately was like, Olympia's done this, basically. They were like, it was her. Like, she's always plotting, she's always scheming. You know, like, he might have loved her a ton, but she was kind of indifferent towards Philip II. She was like, you're kind of a dick. Let's list out the, she was talking shit. She was talking shit. She's been making moves. Nonstop. Since she got there. It's her daughter's wedding. It's her daughter's wedding. And the That's personal the, the guards personal that guard, only hang yeah. out with her and Philip. Only the uh, Yeah. Every single person at the wedding was like, she obviously did this, but like, A, I can't prove it. B, I'm not gonna get caught saying it. Cause I'm next. <laughs> you know, she's got the crazy snake cult. Like, I'm not fucking with this lady. It had her dead to rights. They just were too scared. Yeah, no, literally. Like, exactly. <laughs> Olympia's one thing you need to know about her. She has a fuck ton of nemesis. It's kind of her, her bit that Sounds she... Like it, there'll be like six different parts of the story where I go and her nemesis and it's a different person every mm. single time like mm. she had a lot of enemies first thing that she did after Philip was assassinated <laughs> is she took out one of her nemesis Queen Eurydice that was like her that was one of the other wives yeah you know like you know like how much you gotta hate someone for them to be your nemesis I know <laughs> like she's a hater she has a lot of hate to give I wonder um, how many of these were like actually like like two-sided or if they no they were two-sided was it no, they uh, were yeah because she was talking shit all the time i bet it's just like she bumped into like some noble no like something is like the that bitch <laughs> right like, she's i'm gonna, I'm to gonna the same kill degree. you <laughs> yeah. like, eurydice her son was first in line for success in succession mm -hmm. she ordered for all of her children to be murdered so that there was no no other heirs blocking Alexander's succession. Mm. But she kept Eurydice alive, because she's a bitch. Mm. <laughs> and Eurydice was mm. obviously like destroyed because like her all of her children were wiped out in one fatal swoop. Mm. And so she killed herself. Should've yeah. done, should done a John Wick, but John I know. Wick wasn't around back I then. I know, she didn't have the inspiration nor a pen. So, or a dog. Or a dog. <laughs> she didn't have a dog named Daisy to get, 
push her there. Or a gun. Or anything, really. Or a Russian mafia. Like, nothing that John would give <laughs> Any training. <laughs> or Keanu Reeves. Yeah, or Keanu Reeves. <laughs> oh, maybe Keanu Reeves. He's a time traveler. Anyway, so she took her own life, which Olympia definitely was like, yes! I was hoping that would happen. So then she took her place she as had, queen regent. I could only imagine, like, her, her one-liner when she heard the news. Because she was, like, swirling gl like, <laughs> a glass of wine. Oh. That's terrible. Or so, like, oh what, my God. what would be your one liner? Just after all her kids died. That'd be me. What? Oh, I guess. Oh, it, because her kids died? I guess it runs in the family. If my kids died, God forbid, I would just dive into my cult work. Wow. <laughs> I mean, isn't it a mother's duty to protect her children? That's a real bitch. Move. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. But, what else do you have to live for? Mm. Nothing. <laughs> yeah, I can. You ready to see? Kill yourself. Like, that's exactly what she was doing. <laughs> then she took her place as queen. So, she, it was a big win. Can I ask what happened to 2 3? 2 3? Oh, the other <laughs> other one? Yeah. So, like, they, <laughs> when we talk, we went. <laughs> they come up, actually. Did they just say that? Hey. They, they definitely didn't try and challenge the succession after that because they were probably scared. But they do come up later oh. and they shouldn't have alexander was the new leader mm -hmm. like the new appointed leader he was going on campaigns pretty much non-stop because he was he was trying to expand their territory very aggressively which he did which he did very and successful. that's why he's still talked about today yep. um but while he was doing that he died during a campaign in babylon yep and so she was obviously fucking distraught because her life's work was basically alexander but she was like i can't waste time grieving because these bitches are going to try and kill me Fact. so unlike eurydice she was like i'm not going down <laughs> like that i'm she, not going down like that i know what y'all trying to do i'm not doing it she had the drive before the kids yeah like she knew it was a possibility yeah. all along yeah she was trying to avoid it but she was like it could happen though i hate to say it but i feel like <laughs> i feel like she's treating her own kids like blonde she is <laughs> she definitely is she's a she's a cersei before mm -hmm. cersei there's a lot of inspiration. Well, no, the Tywin before. Versus, yeah, honestly. Yeah, she's, she's, better than she's more Tywin than Cersei. Yeah, she is. But the other thing that she did when she was Queen Regent, she appointed her grandson, the next Alexander, to be next in line. Oh, shit. So <laughs> she was like, if I lose this Alexander, I'm going to back up. <laughs> yeah. I know, I can see her in my mind's eye. She goes, fuck, Alexander one's down, but I got Alexander two. <laughs> The hoe's gonna love this. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't actually Alexander the second. He was like way further down the line. There's a he's lot like, of Alexanders, but yeah. still, she was like, he's my backup guy. Then one of her other rivals mm. stepped in yeah. and was like in Babylon when all this was happening. Mm. That's, where, that's where decisions were being made at the time was in mm. Babylon. Mm -hmm. So her rivals stepped in and were like, we're not letting this backup Alexander assume the fucking throne like we're not we're not going to be doing that and so then she was like yes you are mm. <laughs> and so she took an army convincing argument yeah, she <laughs> took an army, and she went down to babylon with her army and she mm. showed up and she was like you're not going to want to do what you're doing the guy who took over the throne was Aridaeus, mm. and so he was the new acting king he took alexander's place mm. and second alexander's place mm -hmm. And so he sent out his army to be like, the fuck you think this is? Like, I didn't just take over Babylon willy nilly. Like, I knew this was a possibility. And when his army went out to meet her army, before they went head up, because it was back when armies used to have a little chat before they would attack each oh, other. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, when they did their little manage. chat, yeah, they had some decorum about it. When they did their little chat, she was like, y'all don't want to do what you're about to do. Mm. And they were like, you know what? You're right. We're on your side now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she won them over in like a matter of minutes. Like it was not even, it was barely a conversation. They were, re they were really ready to jump ship, honestly. She actually won the battle without any bloodshed mm. because she was just like that. Like she was just like, get over here. And they were like, okay. <laughs> and they just went over. Now's the time for me to say, impressive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She kicked him off the throne. Of immediately had him executed of course. naturally but she did i think she cut his head off mm. but she did something way more fucked up to his wife which oh. is what overshadows whatever she did to him because who died first 
He died first. Wow, really? Yeah, and then she took his wife and she she basically gave her like a multiple choice option mm. of how she would die. Mm. She left her a letter in her room. So mm. like she got the news like your husband's dead. He's not in control anymore. Yeah. This shit's going south. She went back to her quarters mm -hmm. and she sees a note in there that says, you're gonna die either way, mm -hmm. so why don't I let you choose? Mm. And she had a cup of poison next to it, yeah. a noose, mm. and a sword. Nice. And she had like, there was like a perceived time constraint on this, so like there was, she had to pick one or they were just gonna come in and kill her anyway. Mm -hmm. So she picked the noose and they found her hanging in her room. Oh. So that's how they know that she picked the noose, obviously, because her body was there. I don't know why she went so hard on her. She's got a little bit of a pick me thing going. Like she's got some internalized misogyny. It kind of seems. It was not intended to be merciful. The note was apparently it, really bitchy. <laughs> okay. It wasn't like a, here, like woman to were, woman. She was like, fuck you. I were can't they believe. enemies before? Probably. I, no. I don't, I, I couldn't find a single woman that Olympia's friends with. Mm. Like not even one. Mm. Uh, and she did ruin her daughter's wedding too. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like she just didn't play well with others in that way. Mom, you're kind of a bitch. You're, like a, you're a bit of a pick me as <laughs> no, a no. bitch, honestly. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, not yeah. kind of. Like definitely. Nah, you like are. the OG. No, 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 you are. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> Here's the end. So here's what happens. Mm. So it seems like she never took an L in her entire life. Like even when she did take an L, she would turn it into a W. Mm -hmm. Like she would take two L's and you know, put them together and make it Ooh, a win. You could Come on, that was Ooh. good imagery. Ooh. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Hey, L L W. Fuck you. Wow. <laughs> I'm kidding. I I'll, bet you felt real I felt really clever cool right now. Yeah. You knew it's yeah. cool. <laughs> yeah. She did ultimately take an L though. She had to die at some point. And she did not die of old age. Um, yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah, there's like no way, right? After all of that, <laughs> ain't nobody was letting her just die of old age. So I want this, to is where, at home. <laughs> this is where another nemesis enters the chat. Jesus Christ. Who's apparently her number one nemesis though. This guy, Cassiter. Oh, really? Yeah. What'd he do? Or what'd she do? What'd he was do? too powerful. She didn't like that. <laughs> you know, she well, saw him on the she, chessboard. She wasn't cool she with like it. She didn't want anyone her. else on the board. Even her husband. And her son, like. Man. Well, she liked her son just because she could control him. Like she would. That's, that, she was no. in constant contact with him when he was campaigning. So a lot of people attribute almost all of his uh, success in securing new lands to his mother. She would tell him what to do. I was not gonna like that. Cassiter laid siege to the city. Classic. Yeah, she didn't. She didn't appreciate that at all because he successfully did it. And no, then, no. yeah. Then once he <clears throat> took the city, he commanded that she be stoned to death. Which she was. I bet she was talking mad shit. The of whole course, time, she was like, the "You throw like baby. a bitch. You <laughs> throw like a bitch." I bet she was catching rocks until she ran out of arms, and then she's like, "Fuck." No, when they stone you, they tie them behind. But like, <laughs> so she's probably ah. You know, ah. they tie behind them because at some point somebody caught a rock. <laughs> I bet she bit one. <laughs> She probably They're would do that. She's got the moxie to do it. And then though, to add insult to injury, they didn't just kill her, they also executed her grandson, oh. the other Alexander. I am, <laughs> what did I do? What, what did, did I do? for? <laughs> Cassidy, you know what? I, I really don't I like really that. I really don't like that. <laughs> he, has, he executed him too because he was like, I need to, take this bloodline and snuff it the fuck out. Like yeah. I cannot, these motherfuckers are too strategic. They keep winning shit. We gotta make sure there's no more of them. And we don't know if Alexander had bastards anywhere. He, I would assume, but also a lot of people think he might've been gay. So yeah. maybe not a ton of bastards, probably some though. Yeah, that's how the, the family lineage came to an end. So circling back to what we were talking about at the beginning, <laughs> any inspiration <laughs> of what you're doing in Time Machine? Fucking marrying her ass. <laughs> I would be scared of her. <laughs> no, 100%. You would have to marry her and then be a simp so she would never kill you and be no, like, babe, whatever no, you no, want to no, do, no, I'll no, get it done. No, 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 no. You think she respects authority? What about this story made you think that? No, no, no. See here, look. What about, she killed every authoritative figure she came across. I could change her. <laughs> <laughs> I could save her. I can save her. You can't even save yourself from her. Her no. ultimate Riz, and she's killing everyone. She ain't met any She's like a black no. widow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can change her. I can change her. No, no, no. I, 
I mean, I don't know. Maybe she was just mean because, like, everyone else was mean. So, yeah, no. I think she just wanted... I think, honestly, she was just kind of pissed that she could only assume so much power as, like, a woman. Mm. And so, if she didn't have to puppet master so many people, mm. I think she would have... Like, if she was a dude, she would have been a very ruthless ruler for mm. sure. But I think she would have been a lot less manipulative because she would have been able to get away with using more brute force. Mm, yeah. And she probably would have gotten further because she wouldn't have had to take, like, back alley... No, nah, roads just, to get shit see, done. See, if I was king, I'd make her. I'd just be like, she in charge. We can't do that. Why not? <laughs> be, be like, I don't respect her, and they'd be like, she is gonna kill you. you I'm gonna kill you. That. Hold on, babe. I got this. I got this. I'm gonna kill you because you talking shit. And then I kill him. Chivalries and ladies. No, 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 no. Hundred percent. But then she'd be like, hell yeah, hell yeah. I oh, remember that. You sent for me. I'll take over the world, baby. I started out the story with how Philip simped for her as well, and she no, got no, no, stabbed no. under the ribs. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, he's a creepy old dude. <laughs> I'm hot now, just kill me. Actually, that'd be a real thing. Like, if I was, like, middle-aged and she came along, I'd be like, fuck, all right. I would actually just be like, all right, we gotta take her out. No, <laughs> we gotta take her out. We gotta kill her right away. <laughs> She's got that fiery hair and that fiery personality. But the problem She's is, kill me. In, his, our snakes. in history, I'd be looked down on as like a fucking dick because they'd be like, he killed some random like. She was supposed to be his wife and he killed her on the first day. Like, like what the fuck was that about? Kill, no, like I would marry her. I'd be like, I'd kill her before she married Philip. Oh. Yeah, like that's that's when before she gets any power, I gotta kill her now. I gotta kill her now. <laughs> like, now. I gotta ensure this. Guy. And it sounds like as many fucking nemesis as she had, like, it does not sound like I would have an opportunity to make myself an ally. So. Yeah, she actually, like, I, it's I either, know she technically had allies, but, like, on paper, it's like zero allies, a million nemesis. I feel like, I feel like it was like she has, like, 50 nemesis. And then like 50 people like she has dirt on so they're technically her allies yeah because she is the og gossip girl it would be like in game of thrones how they're like a little bird told me she'd be like a little snake told me <laughs> give your best snake noise they don't really hiss like that though well do blues your, never do hiss. your best she just, I have well, to blue hear just goes it. blue goes yeah that's what i'm saying <laughs> like if i had to make noise we <laughs> Our snake's name is Blue. Thank you guys for coming to our first mukbang. Wow bao. It was fun. Wow bao. I Shout like out. wow bao. Yeah. Shout out to wow bao. The, wow the bao coconut good. ones shocked me a little bit. Yeah, well, he's not a coconut guy, so, you know. Uh, I like the coconut one, but I was also surprised by it because I forgot I ordered it. Yeah, next time I might ask them to label it and I'll put a little flag yeah. on each one or something. Yeah, yeah, Something yeah, yeah. more fun like that, but it was our was first good. one, so, you know. It was good. Follow me on TikTok at Daisy Foco. My Instagram's Daisy Foco. Maybe. Say it again. <laughs> Follow me. Fourth, take five. <laughs> Follow me at the KCG83 on TikTok. Follow me. K underscore Granson18 on Instagram. Nice. <laughs> it was a struggle. You can also find uh, my nonprofit, KG's Kids. We got a, a book drive going on. We're trying to raise 10,000 books. We're donating to IPS schools here in Indianapolis. At they, 60 Kroger locations. You can go online so. if you don't live in Indiana. KG'sKids.com. And anybody who does live here, when you're checking out at Kroger, they have like a little QR code that you can donate through. And they also have book bins. So if you have like kids who have grown out of some of their books, you can bring their old books and drop them in the You'll see a standee of me. I'll be like posted up. Yeah, but I, I'm not smiling. I, next year I'll, I'll choose a smiling picture. But I was like, I want to look cool. But <laughs> but now I'm scared. But now I'm like, ah, I probably should have been like <laughs> look more approachable. <laughs> you know, with era like this, the book bin. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. Thanks for having me. Ah <laughs> oh, shit.